My name is Rhoda Morgan Stern. I was born in the Bronx, New York, in December 1941. I've always felt responsible for World War II. The first thing I remember liking that liked me back was food. I had a bad puberty. It lasted 17 years. I'm a high school graduate. I went to art school. My entrance exam was on a book of matches. I decided to move out of the house when I was 24. My mother still refers to this as the time I ran away from home. Eventually, I ran to Minneapolis, where it's cold, and I figured I'd keep better. Now I'm back in Manhattan. New York, this is your last chance. <laughs> jokes yeah i'm sorry <laughs> i'm just checking things over yeah well you're with the store huh oh no you're not well then what do you uh... i'm him the dummy <laughs> you're, you're big Rhodes. Yeah. oh the goalie yeah, yeah. hi hi rhoda morgan stern we've never met but somehow i feel i know you intimately <laughs> you work here all the time Oh, no, no. Usually I do department school windows, yeah. I'm just freelancing at this time, you know, and uh, they send you where they want you to go, and you have to go because... Do you listen to this? Here I am, discussing the thrills and chills of window dressing with a big-time jock. You know, you are very cute. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> um, what are you going to be doing here today, Vic? Oh, I'm just going to meet the customers when they open up the store. Oh. Smile, shake hands, stuff like that. Hey, listen, there's a whole bunch of them out there. I mean, there must be 100 people online. You're very popular. Yeah, I guess I am. There's also a sign out there that says the first 100 people get free hockey pucks. <laughs> I never saw so many hockey pucks in my life. Yeah, you ought to see my net during a bad game. <laughs> well, I think I'm just about finished. What, for the day? No, no. After here, I uh, go over and do a liquor store window. After that, a pet shop, which is a challenge, being creative with kitty litter. <laughs> so, that's your day. What about your night? How about a steak and a flick? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I can't. And how about dinner and a movie? <laughs> Thanks a lot, but, uh, but no. Are you married? No. Well, then why don't you want to go out with me? I'm with the New York Rangers. <laughs> First string. Oh, listen, Vic, please. A few months ago, I would have been standing out on that line myself, I swear. But right now, I'm uh, sort of going with somebody. Uh, what do you mean, sort of? Are you engaged? No. <laughs> Look, I'm not talking about a one-night stand. We're in town till Thursday. <laughs> You're okay, Vic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, then why don't you want to go out with me? No kidding, Vic. I'm really kind of going with someone. <laughs> okay, Rhoda. Look, could you stand a little constructive criticism? Yeah, sure, what? You got my pants on backwards. <laughs> I'm sorry. I never dressed a hockey player before. <laughs> Putting a bulb in, it burned out from opening the door so much. <laughs> Listen, Brenda, did Joe happen to call while I was out? No. Were you expecting him to? It's just it. I, I don't know what to expect. Is something wrong with you and Joe? No, Brenda, it's just that things are starting to get confusing. Like at work today, this really attractive guy came on to me in the window. Another flasher? <laughs> no, a really sweet guy. It's a big-time hockey player. He asked me to go out with him tonight. Hey, if you go, maybe you can get me a season pass. <laughs> Brenda, this was for dinner and a show. I mean, for a season's pass, I have to go on the road with him. <laughs> so, so what did you say? No, of course, because I'm going with Joe. But then I got to thinking. It's not really going with. It's more like waiting for. <laughs> well, no, it, it's better than nothing. <sighs> hey, why am I always waiting for him to drop in on me? 
Why can't I drop in on him? Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking of dropping in on some guy the other night. Yeah. Why didn't you? I didn't know anybody. <laughs> Arte, I want to see Joe tonight. So I'm going over and see him. Wow. What wow? It's simple. And if I want to know where I stand with him, I'll just ask him where I stand. It's that simple, Brenda. But what if he's not alone? It just got complicated. <laughs> So you're not going? Sure, I'm going. Yeah. Rhoda. Hi, Joe. I just decided to drop over. I mean, many a time you just drop over to my place unannounced, so I figured as long as I want to see you, there's nothing wrong with me coming over here unannounced. It's only fair, right? You're right, Rhoda. It's only fair. So I just wanted to get that straight. Bye. Aren't you going to come in? I really don't think I should drop in like this. You've already dropped, so come on in. You sure it's okay? Oh, sure. Oh, you're crazy. Oh, you thought that I might have had another woman in here, no, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> it is funny, my thinking that, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, listen, I, I just got to wondering. What is it you do here, alone, by yourself? Huh? Well, for instance, tonight, I'm counting underwear. <laughs> I think we know each other well enough. How many you got? <laughs> hey, Joe. I came over tonight, uh, because I want to talk about us. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, we still love each other. Everything's still the same, isn't it? Sure. Just a spot check, that's all. Okay. Well, listen, I, I, I wanted to drop by. I didn't really drop by. I was just saying I was dropping in. Because just a I... minute. You want to be private? No, I got no secrets. Hello? Yeah. Who is this? Who? You mean of the New York Rangers? Hey, it's great to get a call from you, Vic, but you must have the wrong number because... <laughs> yeah, she is. Just a minute. It's for you. Yeah. You want to be private? No, I got no secrets. Anymore. <laughs> Joe. Um, hello? Yeah, of course I remember you. <laughs> yeah, I finally got your pants on right. <laughs> <laughs> Easy explanation. Uh, yeah, Vic. Oh, uh, tell me, how did you get this number? Oh, she did. Brenda. Yeah. Well, um, what emergency did you tell her it was? Hey, Vic, thinking about me while you're in the shower is not an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, listen, um, like I told you uh, today at the store, I, I am really going with somebody. I, I wish you wouldn't call again, huh? Because this is the best relationship I've ever had in my life. Okay, goodbye. Joe, I don't understand our relationship. <laughs> now, just where do we stand? You know where we stand. I love you, you love me. So, so what are we gonna do? Just keep on loving each other? Now, you don't say just. Okay, uh, what are we gonna do? Keep on loving each other? <laughs> I need the just. Rhoda. <laughs> What do you really want, huh? I, I really want to feel that our relationship is something uh, solid, you know? I mean, I want to know what's going on with us, for sure, without having to guess. Don't you think I feel the same thing? Do you? Oh, sure. Look, honey, we both love each other, so let's do something about it, right? Right. What? <laughs> Rhoda. Let's live together. Ro? Yeah? How'd it go? Rhoda, something happened. Tell me. Well, Joe popped the question. Hey, hey, hey! Hold it. The question he popped was, will you live with me? Huh? Hey, hey! <laughs> At least that's something solid. Yeah, but I didn't say yes or no. So hungry. Uh-oh. Rhoda, look what you're doing. You're gonna eat instead of facing up to a decision. And you always tell me that's wrong. 
That's not the new rotor at the refrigerator. That's the old rotor. All right. The old rotor will eat while the new rotor decides. Mmm, <laughs> what's this? My strawberry facial cream. It's a little greasy. Oh, Brenda. If only I had time to think. It all happened so fast. I, I... Rhoda, I know I'm your youngest sister, but do you want my opinion? Tell me what it is first. <laughs> well, I think that you really want to do it. But something in your 1950s type background is stopping you. Right. I can't just start packing and forget every Doris Day movie I ever saw. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of things to consider here. Well, maybe we could talk about it. Discuss the uh, fors and against. Maybe, yeah. Well, which side do you want me to take? Take against. There's more to pick from. <laughs> okay. Okay, here's a big against. Ma. Oh, that's big. <laughs> Brenda, you believe it? I never even thought about Ma. Yes, you did, but you're repressing it. You know, I really wish you didn't have a friend in analysis. Well, I can't think of any more against. The against are rotten. Let's hear some for the force. Okay. I'm tired of being alone. I want to share me with somebody. I finally found a man I can love who loves me back. And I don't want to be with him just part time. I want to be with him every single day, including mornings and weekends. So what's wrong with living with him? Huh? I mean, this isn't the 19th century. This is the space age. And I want to share his space. <laughs> All right, you're going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. And I can fix it so that Ma never finds out. Ridiculous. I'm going to tell Ma. You think I want that hanging over my head? No, I'm going to tell her. The sooner, the better. Well, when are you going to tell her? Now. Oh, 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 surprise! Hi, Pa. Oh, oh, yeah. Hi. Hi, Pa. Brenda. Oh, my God. Well, what's this? <laughs> and what's that? <laughs> Rhoda, you're not going back to Minneapolis. No, Pop. You're moving in with us. No, but you're getting warm. <laughs> Where's Ma? Your mother. Yeah. Your mother, uh... Your mother. <laughs> Pop, you don't know if Ma's home or not? Of course she's not. No. Blenda, believe me, here, when your mother is home, I know it. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to think where she told me she was going. She, oh, of course, she went over to your Aunt Rose's. They're not speaking to each other, so they decided to talk. <laughs> so, uh, is there something special you want to talk to her about? Well, um, I, uh... Yeah? Maybe we should come back when the lady of the house is in. <laughs> I think uh, that's the best. It is, it is not Rhoda. the sort of thing. Rhoda, are you, are you in some kind of female trouble? Oh, no, Pop. It's nothing like what you're thinking. What? I don't even know what I'm thinking. <laughs> no, I mean, it's nothing that I've done. Uh, it's something she's going to do. <laughs> oh, well, do you want to tell me about it now, or do you want to wait until after you do it? No. Nah. I want you to know. Terrific. Mm. Sit down, Pop, huh? Um, no. Okay, uh, it's Joe. Joe, very nice fella, Joe. The best, the best. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, see, we, we really love each other. Oh, um, boy, do they love each other. Good, good, good. And, um, Joe has asked me to live with him, and I decided to do it. Brenda, leave the room. <laughs> Mom, I'm old enough to vote. Then go someplace and vote. <laughs> Wants me, I'll be in the refrigerator. Rhoda, Rhoda, you're telling me that that this suitcase is like instead of a trousseau. Yeah, right, Pop. And uh, I guess what I really want is uh, your blessing. Rhoda, whatever you do, you have my blessing. Your mother's blessing, you may have trouble with. <laughs> uh, Pop, see, I, I just want to be straight with you. I, I want to be honest and. But I don't want you to feel bad. Oh, Rhoda, don't worry about me, Rhoda. You just be sure that you take the time to make the right decision. And that you're not rushing into something just because somebody else wants you to. The most important thing, Rhoda, is how you feel. Right. Good. So I'm moving in with Joe. Thanks, Pop. What thanks? I was hoping I talked you out of it. <laughs> 
listen, do you want me to wait around and, and talk to Ma to about Ma? it? No, no, I'll tell Ma. Are I, you sure? I can handle it. Rhoda, I can handle it. See, what I'll have to do, <clears throat> I'll have to take her down to Miami Beach. <laughs> That's uh, like when I had to tell her that you were moving to Minneapolis. Oh, right. Sure, that's the answer. Right down to Miami Beach. Baby. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll tell her down there. And with the sound of the breakers, see, she'll only hear every other word and it won't be so bad. <laughs> Gee, with news like this, maybe, uh, maybe I better take it to Niagara Falls. <laughs> somebody when you start living together. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Oh, that's good. I'm glad I am, uh, too. I am, I'm glad. Oops. <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> you look a little nervous, huh? Uh, yeah, well, I'm always this way, the first day at camp. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, but I don't know why I should feel this way now, Joe. At least here, I know who I'm bunking with. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to get you your own set of keys, and um, I'm gonna put your name on the mailbox. Yeah. What would you like, uh, Ms. or Miss or what? Oh, for starters, let's go with R. Morgenstern. You know, <laughs> why you have to lay it in their lap? Let them guess a little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm really glad you're gonna be living here. We're gonna have so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> stop, Walter, stop that. Listen. Okay. Now, wait. Now, just so I don't feel guilty when it's not so much fun, I want to pay half the rent. That's ridiculous. No. I'll be like a landlord. Good. Then if something goes wrong, I know where to complain. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about it, but not now, huh? Hmm? Hey, yeah, what about soap? <laughs> soap. Now, listen, I never, ever mentioned this when I was a transient, but I really hate your brand. Well, in the demolition business, we like a strong soap. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'll be daring, we'll buy two soaps. Yeah, Joe, but you only have one dish there in the shower. I mean, you put a bar of soap on top of another bar, the top one always slides off. Okay, we'll put your soap in the soap dish, and I'll get one of those bars that you put around your neck on a cord, you know, soap on a rope. Very good. Hey, uh, you sure you've never done this before? That's unpacked. Come on. Now, listen, it can wait till the morning, huh? Okay, yeah. I'll put it in the closet, and, uh... Hey, listen, if there's anything around here you don't like, uh, you know, tell me. Gee, you make it sound so permanent. Well, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, it is permanent. <laughs> yeah, keys, mild soap, strong soap, <laughs> name on the mailbox. I mean, it's almost like the real thing. Yeah. Rhoda, what's wrong? Nothing, nothing. I'm a little nervous is what I am. <laughs> but uh, really, Joe, you know, I, believe me, I really feel happy. I am. I mean, it's, everything's wonderful. This is probably the best night of my life. Except something just occurred to me, and... What? No. Now, maybe I better not mention it, because we're just starting out living to get... Forget it. Tell me. No. No, I'm not. I'm not going to tell you. I feel guilty, and I'm... Hey, if we're going to start living together, we got to tell each other everything. Okay, Joe, I want to be married. <laughs> When did you uh, realize that? Right in the middle of the soaps. <laughs> and Joe, I can't tell you how ashamed of myself I see. I mean, I thought I was so hick, you know, so beyond that, you know, with it, 1970s. I want to get married. I can't believe this. I mean, listen, I do want my name in the mailbox. You're right. But I want the same name as yours. Yes, married. What a depressing thing to find out about yourself. <laughs> Conventional. I mean, Ma, Ma, yeah, all that good work was not in vain. Nobody <laughs> wants to be married. That's it, Joe. There it is. I want to be married to you. Married, huh? Yeah, please don't say it again. <laughs> <laughs> married, huh? If you say you will, I'll never ask you for another thing. <laughs> That's what you really want, huh? Oh, yeah, Joe. I, I really, really do. I'm real sorry. 
But Rhoda, I love you, but once you've been divorced, you get a little, I don't know, you get frightened of marriage, you know. Are you kidding? Listen, once you've been single, you're frightened of marriage. <laughs> Joe, I'm so sure about us. I really am. Look at me. Look how sure I am. You sure look sure. <laughs> well, I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought of marrying you, Rhoda, but that's why I figured it was such a good idea for you to move in. I thought that we'd talk seriously about getting married once we were living together for a while. Oh. But Rhoda, it's been only 45 seconds. <laughs> They've been good seconds, Joe. <laughs> Rhoda, they've been some of the greatest seconds of my life. <laughs> okay, let's do it. You mean it? You try and get out of it. You mean it? Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Are you sitting down, kid? Yeah, should I be? Nah, not for this. Because if you're sitting down, you won't be able to jump. Rhoda, what is it? Mary, I'm getting married. Married? You and Joe? Yeah, right. Oh! 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 You're jumping, aren't you? Yeah! <laughs> Just keep on jumping. I'll tell you when your three minutes are up. Oh! <laughs> 